Igor Delanoy joins me from Moscow. He's the deputy director of the French-Russian analytical center, Observo. Hello, thank you very much indeed for your time. Now, President Putin hasn't explicitly stated that he wants to prolong his time in power, but that is what this referendum is about, right? Yes, it's correct. Actually, uh, if the uh, referendum is uh, validated by the vote, and actually if, if it doesn't also, uh, President Putin will be allowed to run for two uh, additional terms. Uh, the next presidential election is in uh, within four years, in 2024. And uh, actually, with this uh, amendment to the Constitution, he will be allowed to run until 2036. And also, because this would be a change to the Constitution, wouldn't it mean that, uh, in effect, this would be Putinism being enshrined in the Constitution, so that even if he's not in power, his agenda is still being served? Well, actually, you know, I think that the question of this referendum goes beyond, because when you look at the question asked to the people uh, in this uh, vote, actually, it's uh, yes or no, but... The amendment goes beyond. The amendment go go beyond the just uh, the, the question of the the president and the terms. You have a tens of question actually that the Russian have to to validate through this vote. So I agree that through this vote, actually, the idea is to uh, embody and to crystallize the um, the, the the power around the, uh, the president, be it Putin or be it someone else, basically. Is it a foregone conclusion that these reforms will pass? I mean, lawmakers have already uh, approved the amendments. Why even put it to the public? Yes, actually, the point is not that much uh, whether people will accept or reject these amendments. Basically, they are already uh, taken for granted because people are just asked to uh, some kind of validation of the, the, the amendments already decided by uh, President Putin and by the uh, Russian parliament and, um, and the Federal Assembly. So basically, the point is more to validate uh, these uh, amendments. And the real question is not, uh, is, will be a victory for the yes or the no, but once again, the real question is about the turnout. And of course, we'll have to wait because the vote is being staggered over a few days because of the coronavirus pandemic. So I wanted to ask you, since you're in Moscow, is there a sense there of frustration? Are people uh, frustrated about having to vote during a pandemic at all? Most probably there are some kind of frustration. Uh, you know, actually, the situation uh, across Russia with regard to the pandemic is very, very uh, contrasted. Uh, here in Moscow, actually, lots of people tend to think that we have been allowed to, to go to work and to actually resume the normal life because of the military parade yesterday and because of the incoming referendum. So that's one, uh, one point. And the second point is that you have a region in Russia which so far are still in a very difficult uh, situation with regard of the coronavirus and other regional where basically there's nothing bad happening with the, um, with the epidemic. So it's very contrasted and that's why basically uh, the uh, government has decided to create various possibility to give various possibility to the people uh, for voting. You can vote through internet. Uh, actually, I think that it's already open uh, on the uh, on the uh, on the internet to to vote, you can vote through the postal uh, post office, and of course you can vote on the uh, vote office. I mean, on the, in the office in your uh, area. So basically, everything has been done to boost the turnout and to make sure that people will go and vote. What about concerns um, about transparency? A colleague was here with me in the studio earlier saying that there's increasing skepticism where you are in Russia regarding the transparency of this poll. And he talked to us about increasing numbers of young people who oppose uh, uh, Putin really voicing that. What are your views on this? Well, I think that uh, trad traditionally, actually, in Moscow and St. Petersburg, people are much more eager to eager to contest actually and to to vote against or to find another way to uh, show that they disagree with the uh, the global policy. But when you beyond Russia and beyond Saint Petersburg, sorry, and Moscow in the Russian regions, 
obviously uh, the, there will be the, the best uh, the best results I think um, in the in the regions. I think that the the objective I mean at least I wouldn't be surprised that the objective for the Kremlin is 60 60 60 percent uh, for and 60 percent turnout. And again, the idea is to boost as ma maximum as possible the, the turnout to, to reach this objective, uh, because uh, definitely, as, as you said in your uh, previously uh, during the, uh, the footage, basically people are favor are favorable and they will vote for the the, uh, the amendments. 